chords. We have a standard G major. B minor. E minor. C. A minor. And something called a C major seventh, which is a regular C chord without this top finger. The finger on the first fret second string is gone. So take the C, get rid of this finger right here, and that's a C major seventh. F major seventh. Take a regular F chord that you play like this and get rid of the first string on the first fret. So you're playing the second string first fret, third string second fret, fourth string third fret. That's F major seventh. E major, something I call the funky A because I don't know what this chord is called or if it actually is a chord, but the way it is played is an A major, without the second string second fret, so get rid of that bottom finger. So there's an A major, and there's that bottom string gone. We'll call that the funky A. Then a B7th, and a B7th is, just think of an E major chord, and take the finger that's on the 2nd fret 4th string, and put it on the 2nd fret, 3rd string, and that's a B7th. And one more trick, not really a chord, but it's, I guess it's relevant here. Uh, there's a couple hammer-ons when you're playing a C. And you'll see how we use that in just a minute. So those are the chords. Hey there, guitar players. Um, We're going to do a slow walkthrough of A Day in the Life, doing the intro and the chords very slowly before we do a full playthrough. So here we go. Intro starts on a G. And you can't see me, so I will step back. G. B minor. E minor. C. Stay on C. C. G. And uh, just note the strumming pattern on the intro. It starts with just downward strokes, and then when it gets to the E minor, it starts throwing in some ups and downs. But don't get too hung up on the strumming pattern, because if you do, you're not going to enjoy learning the song. Um, I actually think the strumming pattern is the least important thing to learn about a song. First you learn the chords and the rhythm, and then you can worry about the strum later. But the strumming is very casual. It leaves off some beats here and there. Um, but the intro again starts with just downbeats. D minor, E minor, so towards the end it starts going down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, and that's kind of the recurring strum. Down, 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 up, down, up, starts 
on a G. G, I, Re, the B minor news. News today. Oh, boy, is E minor. Boy. Major seventh. Back to G. And though the B minor blues was rather E minor sad. C. Well, I just F major seventh. Laugh is C major seventh. I saw, I saw F major 7th, C major 7th, 2nd verse on G, E blue is B minor, I'm down in a E minor car, C, he didn't notice, a minor notice that the C major seventh lights have changed to G again. A crowd of B minor people stood in stare. E minor. C. They'd see his F major seventh. Stay on F major seventh and then go to E minor. Nobody was. Back to G again. I saw a B minor. Don't oh. E minor. Boy. C. The English. A minor. Army. At just C minor seventh. Where it gets interesting. This is uh, what I call the symphonic buildup. So it goes E minor. Having read the book, I to turn. So on turn, it goes to E minor. And then on the on, he goes to E major. And you're going to do 18 counts of basically just noise um, to kind of emulate the symphony, the buildup they have before Paul's Bridge. And you can do this a couple different ways. The way I do it is I do um, an E shape. I start on my E major and I go up one foot at a time, making sure to hit my heavy E string. Play an E major shape, hitting the heavy E to make sure that that E sound it keeps percolating through. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then about the eleventh, I go to a just play an A major with emphasis on the heavy E string. Keep sliding up again, this time keeping the A major shape. 14, 15, 16, 17. So on 18, you go back to just a plain E major. And this is called a staccato, where you kind of um, Press the strings down as you play down and release them, uh, but kind of dampen them at the same time. So you're holding the E, e down and then 
then you take your fingers lightly off the strings but still in contact with the strings. And that's how you get that sound. So now we go to Paul's Bridge, um, which of course starts at E major. Woke up, woke up, fell out of bed, stay on E, dragged a comb. And here's the funky A chord. Across my head. Back to E major. Found my way up, stay downstairs, and B seventh. E major. B seventh. Funky A chord. That was flat. Back to E. Found my way upstairs and B7. E major and uh, B7. And I went into a G. And there's the ah business. So we're going to do a start on C. Ah, C. Same structure as the first verse, uh, just at a double speed tempo. And then at the end, when he goes, I'd love to turn you on, you do the same business with the E minor. I'd love to turn you on, minor. Back to E major, you do your count of 18, etc. And then finish on E major. Fairy, sugar plum fairy.
Sugar Plum Fairy.